Welcome to part three of day two of our two day tour. As we leave Glacier Lagoon and make our way back to Reykjavik, there are a few stops along the way. The first is the Yoda Cave, which is located in the southern part of Hirlishervig. This mountain used to be an island, where volcanic eruptions have filled in the water around the island, creating land and connecting it to the mainland of Iceland. When you enter the cave, the silhouette of the famous Star Wars character Yoda is much more apparent. The next stop is Vik. The church in Vik was built on a hill by two men in an effort to save the townspeople from the wave of water that will be created when the strongest volcano on the island, Katla, erupts. The volcano is covered by a glacier, which will create a massive glacial flood wiping out the town. The last eruption was in 1918. There have been 20 documented eruptions from 1930 to 1918, all within a 20 to 90 year interval. It is overdue to erupt at any point now. There is a beautiful little cemetery at the very top of the hill behind the church, which can be accessed by a vehicle. There is a small parking area in front of the cemetery. I recommend visiting this spot as it also provides an opportunity for really nice panoramic views of the town. You might have an opportunity to visit with some Icelandic horses on this stop as well. Check out my selfies with Icelandic horses video for more information on these beautiful creatures. By now the sun was already going down for the month of October. We were able to enjoy the beautiful sunset as we made our way back to Reykjavik. But one last stop before our tour is over. We return to our first stop from day one, Salia Lansfoss. The waterfall is beautifully lit up at night. However, we are here for Glyph for Buoy, also known as Glyph for Foss. This is a secret waterfall. Take the path to the west of Selya Lansfoss, all the way to the end. You will pass some smaller waterfalls along the way. When you get to the end of the path, you will walk downhill to an opening between the rocks along the stream. Once you get to the bottom, you will be able to see the waterfall peeking through the top opening. Walk between the rocks, staying close to the wall on your right so you do not get your feet too wet. Once through the passageway, you will get to experience the true splendor of this waterfall. Take some time to capture those epic pictures. When visiting Iceland, spending some time in the southern part of the country is a must. I hope you add these stops from this four-part series to your itinerary to experience the stunning beauty of this country. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. You can also join the Facebook group and follow me on Instagram.